Okay, so this is the first video of global climate and this part of the IB geography syllabus is the atmospheric system including the natural greenhouse effect and the energy balance. So that includes incoming shortwave radiation and outgoing longwave radiation. So what you have to know is that this is the atmospheric system and these are the main layers that um, kind of make up the atmosphere. There are actually some other ones but they're kind of... Um, you don't have to know them like these are the main ones so you have firstly the troposphere the stratosphere the mesosphere and then the thermosphere and here are some char characteristics of each so in the troposphere we have quite um well very high pressure and this is where the greenhouse gas gases are this is where the greenhouse effect takes place this is where um, a lot of water vapor is and as you kind of ascend the temperature actually falls and then when you go into the stratosphere this layer is um, lower pressure than the troposphere the temperature actually increases as you ascend and there is usually well, this is the layer where airplanes tend to fly because it's quite calm and dry. And then when you move up to the mesosphere, the t pressure becomes even less and the temperature actually falls again like it did in the troposphere. And this layer is where the, um, where the Earth is protected from meteorites and it also has very strong winds. And then when you move up to the final layer, the thermosphere, the temperature actually increases again with altitude. And this is where the northern and southern lights occur. And it's very, very low pressure here. So here's a table that kind of summarizes that information, but also gives some more details. So feel free to pause and like take any information that you might need. But just kind of have a good idea of each of the layers, their order and kind of what's happening where. Okay, now we're going to go through some key terms. So, first of all, a greenhouse gas. So, a greenhouse gas is a gas that contributes to the greenhouse effect by absorbing infrared, infrared, infrared radiation, such as carbon dioxide, chlorofluorocarbon, and methane. And longwave radiation is the energy leaving the Earth as infrared radiation and contains less energy than shortwave radiation. Is generally emitted by cold bodies such as the earth so when the earth reflects sunlight it usually well, it comes up as long wave radiation insulation is the amount of solar radiation reaching a given area atmosphere is a set of layers of gases surrounding the planet the radiative equilibrium is the balance between shortwave radiation emitted by the Sun and long wave radiation bounced back from the earth it is a stable condition where all factors are in even balance and we'll go through this in more detail um, later on. Um, shortwave radiation is the energy from the sun that enters the earth's atmosphere such as ultraviolet and visible light. It's generally emitted by hot bodies so the sunlight coming down onto earth is shortwave radiation. And these terms are very important when we consider the natural greenhouse effect. So what is the natural greenhouse effect? It's basically the warming of the earth naturally that kind of happens without any human interference so it's a natural um, process because our earth needs this warming effect to kind of survive and have living things on it so here are the steps of it so first of all the sun is the main source of the earth's energy it is received by the earth and its atmosphere at shortwave radiation as we just mentioned shortwave radiation comes from hot bodies such as the sun so this arrow coming down to earth is the shortwave radiation and then when it reaches the earth the earth absorbs about 50 percent of the radiation that allows the earth to warm up and then the rest of it is reflected back out to the atmosphere as long wave radiation as we mentioned long wave radiation comes from cooler bodies so the earth okay so then this arrow here of the long wave wavelength radiation is um, you know being reflected from the earth and this long wave radiation tends to be in the form of heat rather than light and heat is actually more easily absorbed by the greenhouse gases so in this layer which we just saw the probably the troposphere 
where the greenhouse effect takes place, some of these natural greenhouse gases um, actually trap the heat and um, that warms the lower atmosphere. So this idea is it already takes place without any human interference because as you may know, human creation of different greenhouse gases is kind of thought to um, create an enhanced greenhouse effect which we'll cover in another video but this is just what happens without any other kind of interference so this phenomenon is crucial for life on earth and without it the earth would be about 33 degrees celsius cooler okay so the final thing for this video is the earth's energy budget and the energy balance on the earth um this photo was from a ib revision website and i couldn't really find the original source so I hope this is like fine okay so so some is reflected by clouds some is absorbed or scattered by the atmosphere some is reflected by the earth but the majority is absorbed by the earth so the amount of energy reflected by the earth is affected by the earth's surface albedo so albedo is basically the ability of an of a surface to reflect sunlight so a lighter surface tends to have higher albedo so it can reflect better into the atmosphere. So the earth atmosphere energy balance is achieved as the energy received from the, from the sun balances the energy lost from the earth back into space. But altering the balance of energy can cause climate changes. And at the moment the world is experiencing global warming, which is believed to be caused by the increase of the increased amount of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere causing more reflected and released energy to be trapped in the Earth's atmosphere.